Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Power Strategy Series again. Today, we're going to discuss about uh, the ADX, which is uh, Average uh, Directional Index built by Willis Wilder. So the ADX, the Average Directional Index, measures the trend strength without regard to the trend direction whether the trend is bullish means going up or whether the trend is bearish going down it measures the strength of that upward or the downward move rather than the trend direction average directional index it's uh, an oscillator which fluctuates between 0 and 100. ADX values which are below 20, they indicate a very weak trend or a sideways market. ADX value from 20 to 40 indicates an increase in trend or the strengthening of the trend, whether a trend is upward or whether a trend is downwards. When ADX value reaches above 40, it indicates a very strong trend, whether an uptrend or the downtrend. ADX system along with the ADX line has two other components. So basically plus DI and the minus DI plus directional indicator and the minus directional indicator along with the ADX makes a complete system which is called the ADX system. If you use together the ADX uh, values which basically gives you an idea about uh, that particular strength whether it's uh, positive or negative and uh, with this plus DI and minus DI actually a trader or an investor can determine both the direction as per the plus di and the minus di and the strength of the trend. So the bulls, they have the edge when plus di is greater than minus di, while the bears have the edge when minus di is greater. A trader or an investor can use the ADX to assist in confirming his or her trades. If ADX is assisting on your uptrend, the ADX values are between 20 to 40, then they confirms the start of the trend and above 40, it confirms your trend direction. Similarly, on the downward direction or on the short side. So let's see and go back to our terminal and see how we can actually use the ADX and how we're going to interpret the ADX values on Trade Tiger. So here you see I have opened a, a daily chart of uh, Tata Steel here along with some other indicators with the, the super trend, the moving average crossover of 10 and 20 EMA. But uh, today we're going to focus on the ADX only. To plot the ADX on the Trade Tiger terminal, you just right click, go on to study, click on add study. In the drop down menu, you will find out uh, the ADX. Click on ADX. You see, by default, the readings are the average period 14 and the overbought value 40 and oversold is 20. These by default values we have back tested and gives us the good results. So we don't want to change and we are going to go with the standard by default settings. In the subgraph, this white line, it's the ADX line, which I would like to increase uh, some width so that we can see easily. So I just hit apply and close. So you see, whenever you find this uh, say let's do some interpretation on the ADX. This white line is ADX line and the zero is uh, the 20 line. So all the 
ADX values below 20, say from here till here, you see the market is actually in a sideways trend. So as the ADX value moves above from here, you see here, this is a sideways trend. And whenever the ADX value moves from 20 upwards to the 40 region, here you see you have an uptrend. So the ADX value from 20 to 40 strengthen your view that this uh, upward trend is intact. And whenever the ADX value started to decrease from 40 towards the 20 region, you see you are in the sideways market, which you are gonna avoid because there is uh, no strength and provided by the ADX. And whenever it's, it goes below 20, you are still in the sideways market, it's in the sideways market. And whenever it starts increasing from 20 towards the upward size, you see you have an uptrend, which has been supported by the ADX value. And right now also the ADX value, it's somewhere between 20 and 40, somewhere around uh, 30. So you are in the middle of a trend of Tata Steel, which is in the upward direction. Whenever you find a value which is close to 60 or something over 55, then actually the trend, you see here, this the downtrend of the Tata Steel here, it's not sustainable here. Anything where the ADX value is more than 60, it's non-sustainable trend. So you need to exit from your position, whether you are in the upward direction or in the longward direction. You see this uh, green, it's the plus TI, and this minus is the, the red one is the minus TI. So ADX can give you the strength of the trend, but also from this uh, plus TI, which is in green, and minus TI, which is in red, you can get some kind of trade confirmation where you would like to go. So you see here, this uh, plus TI is moving upwards and crossing this uh, minus TI here, you're gonna make a long trade in the Tata Steel. And also you have the confirmation by the ADX values. Similarly here, you have got the confirmation plus TI is moving above the minus TI. And also the ADX values, which are moving from 20 and progressing towards the 40 region. So ADX as a whole system, first of all, you're gonna see from this uh, white ADX line, where you are, in which range you are, which can actually confirm uh, the strength or the weakness of your trend. And you can use the plus TI or the minus TI as per your trend direction, whether upwards or the downwards. So in nutshell, the ADX measures trend strength without regard to the trend direction. The above two indicators, which we have uh, spoken about, it's plus directional indicator, which is here, and the negative directional indicators or minus directional indicator. The plus TI and minus TI actually complements ADX by defining a trend direction used together. A trader or investor can determine both the direction and the strength of the trend. A buy signal occurs when plus TI crosses above the minus TI, like here or here. This bullish signal is reinforced if when ADX turn up and the trend strengthen, as we have seen here, it, we have a crossover and we also have the ADX values moves in that particular direction, which is upwards. Once the trend develops and becomes profitable, trader will have to incorporate a stop loss and a trading stop loss so that they can actually book the profit till the trend continue. A sell signal similarly also triggers when this minus TI 
goes below this uh, plus ti. The average directional index is used to middle the strength or the weakness of a trend. Not, remember, not the actual direction. Directional movement is defined by plus di and the minus di. In general, the bulls have the edge when plus di crosses of these directional indicators. And the bears have the edge when minus di is greater. Crosses of these directional indicators, plus di and minus di, can be combined with ADX for a complete trading system. So as it most, uh, as it most basic, the average directional index, ADX, can be used to determine if a security or a script is trending or not. This determination helps traders or the investors to choose between a trend following system or a non trend following system. So just bullet points one again, once again, if the ADX is below 20, you are in a weak trend or a sideways market. If ADX values are from 20 to 40, they signifies an increase in the trend or the strengthening of the trend. And above 40, it indicates a very strong trend. And if the ADX values are more than 60, then actually a strong reversal should occur or the ADX values at the value 60s are non-sustainable. So dear uh, friends, uh, I hope you have got a good insight about uh, this oscillator, which is ADX, which we use heavily in our program to measure the strength uh, and the direction of our trades. And uh, this is uh, the application of our power strategy five. So stay tuned with us. You can find more information about us by going to www.drrtfa.com. I thank you all for joining me live. Thank you very much. Bye. See you soon.